Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Achievements Mods Enabler for Skyrim Special Edition. Um, you're going to want to head to Nexus Mods and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find it. And uh, You're going to want to head to the files. Uh, go ahead and download manually. Uh, once you do that, this notice will pop up that you need the loader. Go ahead and click that. It'll send you where you need to go. Head to the file section of this one, download it manually also. Once it's done in, uh, downloading, show in the folder. And you're going to want to drag it out of the folder. So I dragged it out of here. Do the same thing with the original mod itself. Continue with your download. Once that's done, show it in folder also and drag that out too. Now once you do that, so what I like to do is I'll make a an empty folder and I'll drag them in there. This is where I will extract them. Extract here. I'm going to do the same thing for the achievement one. Extract here. Oh, wrong one. Okay. So, once you do that, Go ahead and open your file location on your Steam. Head up to where Steam Apps is. Go to Common. Look for your Skyrim Special Edition folder. Now, in your data folder, you're going to want to drag in the plugins. Just go ahead and click and drag them into the data. And your DIN put 8. Dot DLL just drag it right here right there as you can see I already have it in the folder and I already got the plugins in my data folder too so once you do that restart your steam if you have it on and I already got mine up and ready and click play now in order for uh, for you to find out if it worked or not you're going to want to Enable any mods that you've done. And a warning usually pops up uh, telling you that the achievements will be disabled. Now, what we're looking for is that warning not to come out at all. So, as you can see, my mods, just make sure my mods are enabled. Let's head to the load order. So, yeah, I got plenty of mods enabled. So, we're gonna, I'm going to click a new game. And as you can see, the warning did not pop up, and I'm ready to start the new game. As for the mod, it worked. So, if uh, if this uh, tutorial helped you guys out, give me a like, subscribe, share it. Um, yeah, and it's it's a really sweet and simple installation process. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll. Check